What's up everyone, Danny Lightning back with another CSR2 video today, working on a Ferrari Enzo. We're going to do a stage 5 and stage 6 tune and shift pattern. We're going to do a review on the car and then we're going to talk about how it does for live racing and stuff like that. Maybe there's a good live racing setup, I don't know, we will find out. First off, I'm going to go ahead and show you the tune for stage 6. We'll do a test run, then we'll do the same thing for stage 5 and then get into the review. All right, so all maxed out, all the stage six, all the fusions, you're gonna move the nitrous all the way to the right. Final drive down to 2.23, and the tires at 26 PSI. And if you get the run just perfect, you're probably gonna run 7.2 something, maybe 7.3s. All right, so what we're gonna do is let go of the gas just around number two, try and get a almost perfect start, launch round number five, around five RPMs, all right? Um, after that, shortly after it launches, second, third nitrous as quickly as possible, and then all shifts right before the red line. And I keep getting in, like, sometimes I get a 7.29, sometimes I get a 7.3, sometimes I get a 7.4, so I consistently run within about two tenths of a second. It's very hard to get consistent times on this car for some reason. But anyways, here is the stage six with all the fusion shift pattern. Three, two, one, go. Second, third, nitrous. Four, fifth, six, and that's all she wrote. Real easy to drive. Again, I'm getting real inconsistent times. Like I said, sometimes it's a 7.2, sometimes it's a 7.4. There I got a 7.399, but that's the fastest shift pattern I can figure out for it. The car has a dyno of a 7.434. Now we're gonna go ahead and switch this down to stage five and do the same thing for stage five. All right, so we've moved it down to stage five. There are no stage six parts installed, but we do have all the fusion. So we still got the nitrous all the way over to the right. This time I bring the final drive down to 2.0 and a tire pressure stays the same. All right, so that's what seems to be working good on stage five. We have a dyno time of a 9.0 guys. 9.094 on the dyno. So let's go do some test runs and we'll show you how to drive this on stage five. All right, so we're gonna drive it the exact same way as we did on stage six. Three, two, one, go. Second, third, nitrous, right? And let's see what time we run. Let's see what time we run. All right, go little car, go little car, go. That went pretty well. And what do we get? What do we get? We got a 9.064 on that run, which isn't too bad. I tried many other shift patterns, and this one does seem to be the fastest. We got a dyno of 9.094, so we're not we're not beating dyno by much on stage five. I might be able to play with that transmission slider. If I move it a little more to the right, I might be able to squeeze just a little bit more out of it but I don't have another hour to sit here and play with that. All right, so on stage five, it's not doing great at live racing. At stage six, it's doing pretty decent as a dyno beater, but you're gonna have to tune it a little differently. All right, when it's maxed out, it is going to get into the hyper max lobby, and it's gonna get matched up with all the 6.8, 6.9 cars. It's definitely a dyno beater if you get enough parts in it and get your tune right. Um, it, it's an all-around pretty cool car guys. It's a pretty cool car. It's gonna be pretty good at everything So this car has a max speed of just under 400 miles per hour. So it's nice and fast All right, 0 to 60 and 0 0.8 something 0 to 100 and like 1.2 This car is great at everything for the most part All right I think I would I would think I would use this car for almost anything at least once you have it on stage six You can always down tune it a little bit to run in a slower lobby So it does well in live racing. You don't want to keep this one in the super max I think 7.7 is kind of like the sweet spot for the fastest lobby before super max So you'd probably want to try and tune it to around a 7.7 .7, Maybe 7.8 for live if you haven't maxed out. So let's go ahead and see if I can find a low PP high Evo tune for this. All right, so we did find a low performance point high Evo tune. We got 661 on the performance points and still 1880 on the Evo, all right? 
we've only got a few parts even installed on this car guys so we've got the three tunable parts upgraded everything else is back to stock so we got a stage six nitrous and you could probably get away with that being on stage five honestly we got stage six tires also that would be okay on stage five transmission stage six again those could be set to stage five if you don't have the stage six parts but the the engine the turbo the intake the body those are all set to stock all right so what we did is we went back and we refit it whoops we're on the wrong one we went back and re refit all of these to the stock parts okay so you can see this is fitted right here we fitted the stock parts so let's go take this thing into some live racing and see how it does we're just going to do one or two quick live races to see if it wins and it should it's got almost three times the amount of performance points it's got almost three times the amount of evo as performance points so that's a sure surefire sign that this car should be able to win live races without beating the dyno time the tune i have it is nitrous all the way to the right final drive at 3.18 and tire pressure at 56 over 44 and your your final drive is probably going to change a little bit if you're on stage five instead of those three stage six parts but it should be pretty similar the dyno is a 10.346 so we want to drive the car so it runs just a little bit slower than that and i would like to thank nitro for csr for letting me use his account i don't have this car upgraded on my account yet so nitro thank you buddy i really appreciate that so we're going to race this guy we're going to see if we can win and we're going to drive it the exact same way but we are going to have to slow down a little bit or this car is going to beat the dyno and get pushed into the faster lobbies we don't want to beat the dyno guys all right here we go three two one go second third nitrous fourth fifth sixth and we're gonna go ahead and start slowing down here all right we shift it down into like second gear or something before we cross the finish line we don't want to be the 10.3 there we've been the 10.6 and we still won i'm pretty sure this car has a giant lobby advantage all right so we got a little over a thousand evo points we got 12,600 which is not bad i'm actually surprised we only got a thousand we should have got more than that because we're, we're almost at two two thousand evo so we should have got around 1200 11 1200 uh respect points did i say evo anyways let's go beat let's go try and beat somebody else and we slowed down significantly just to make sure the car did not beat the dyno time all right now we're going to go ahead and take on this car right here this is a really good live racer the 8c spider I've always heard people say this thing's excellent at live, so let's see if we can beat this guy, right? Alrighty, three, two, one, go! Second, third, nitrous. Fourth, fifth, sixth, and we're gonna make sure we slow down before it move. Alright, I tried to slow down a little bit. I still won. I was worried I might have slowed down too much. There we got a 10.5. So we beat him going just a little bit slower than the dyno. All right, this car is going to do very well at live racing with this low performance point high Evo setup. That guy gave me a run for my money. He really did. So bottom line, this car can be very good at everything. All right, it's got a good lower performance point high Evo live racing setup. It's going to beat dyno when you max it out. It's pretty fast. It's just an all-around nice car. All right, this is just going to be an all-around very good car, guys. And I think that pretty much wraps this one up. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that little bell. Set those notifications to all. And we will catch you next time, all right? Thanks for watching, guys. Have an awesome day. See ya.